Yo, the cage is rattling from uh, Cameron Ross doing some jumps. Levi Ladies Casey. and gentlemen, this fight is scheduled for three four-minute rounds for the DC Amateur Heavyweight Championship. Brought to you tonight by CBD Remedies. Introducing first, fighting out of the Dillon's Auto Blue Corner. This kicks boxer stands six foot two, weight in 265 pounds. He holds an amateur record, four wins, one defeat. Representing Monstar, kickboxing and fitness, and fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska, Levi LaGrees Casey. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the Nebraska Lottery Red Corner, is a freestyle fighter standing 5'11", weighed in 255 pounds. He holds an amateur record, two wins, zero defeats. Representing Get Money Team and fighting out of Lincoln, Nebraska, Cameron Heavy Hitter Ross. Your referee is Rob Lures. Touch the gloves, nice show of respect before the throw leather. Levi Casey in the blue corner with the blue gloves. And Cameron Ross with the red gloves. These guys are having quite a bit of movement and calculating their shots before diving in there. And those kicks gotta be feeling different at this weight, man. I mean, everything they throw has got bad intentions. Right. Good little quick, quick leg kicks here by Ross. You think those hurt? I mean, they add up for sure. You know, it seems the first two, three yeah. times you get hit I in mean, the same I spot. Obviously, yeah, ne neither of us could obviously tell you, but they do look like they do. Uh, sometimes they are to set up some other stuff. Or I, I think the I think the secret to leg kicks is hitting the same spot multiple times, kind of. Kind of sniping them out, you know, it, that you, you kind of tenderize at one spot, and also it really just makes. Letting, yeah, letting them know that you can do it is a big thing as well, I believe. Yeah, and and those leg kicks are kind of an insurance policy, man. I mean, sometimes when you when you can take a guy's leg out all first round, you know, he comes out in that second round just doesn't have his footwork, you know. Yeah, 100. Levi Casey in the black and green trunks, uh, pressing Cameron into the cage with a, oh, with a takedown. He, per, nice hip toss. He had the double unders and just, uh, now sitting in uh, Cameron's full guard. Yeah, they're calling for Levi to left hook to the body as man, he is. These are these these you can hear those, man. I mean, he he was throwing those with bad intentions. And not only that, but like throwing those hooks to the body, it'll keep Cameron from holding him down right on top of him. Uh. They're calling for Cameron to roll. Uh, he would need to try and sweep him a little bit, you know. And uh, I don't he know is if hiking up his legs a little bit. Maybe he's going for something there. Yeah, Maybe and he's I got some submissions off his back. I don't know what that verbiage means, if it's maybe their own lingo. Oh, there we go. He looks like he's setting up a triangle a little bit. Oh, all Casey, right. Casey slips out. In turtle right now, Casey on bottom. I'm sorry, Cameron Ross on bottom. Cameron Ross going for a single, pushing him up against the cage. I think he was going for the strikes before he he, he set he he positioned himself in a position of control, you know, and and that's why our uh, Cameron was able to work his way back up to his feet. Yeah, and this uh, early in the fight, everybody's gonna be fresh, and Cameron's a beast, obviously. Comes uh, in with a tee, be able but catches to it. Power out of some positions. I think both guys are going to start slowing down a little bit. I mean, the I agree. Heavyweights aren't always known for the best cardio, especially at the amateur level. Yeah, so uh, Levi has a little bit of damage on the right eye, and they're working calling some for him elbows. to damage it. They're calling for Cameron to damage it. Uh, he was working some good elbows and tight no, there. No, Levi keeps checking his eye. You can't do that in the fight. Uh, they might... They might I, end up calling it. This might be a stoppage. Well, for the fighter's safety. Well, I mean, if, I think if, if it doctor, wasn't an eye poke, I mean, I think what? if the doctor checks it out, it's the end of the fight. Yeah. Fight. I, the ref just said that the fight's over. Yeah. Um, If it's not an eye poke. So, it, it wasn't. I don't believe it was. I think that they're. 
No, uh, I think he was just calling for the doctor to look at his eye. And if the doctor comes in and looks at your eye, I believe the fight is over. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't. If you it, call for it during the middle of the round. Yeah, yeah. I could be wrong, but both fighters should still definitely be ready to go. And and maybe with one of those elbows, he he got his eye clipped, and, and maybe he I thought he got poked, so. or or maybe he was concerned about his cut. But like you Do said, you, think you know, it was a poke. No, I think maybe he thought he got an eye poke or something. Because I think he just got cracked in the eye, and he's worried about it. Yeah, because you can't just ask for you know a doctor stoppage or a timeout for for well, for a cut. I typically. believe I believe if the doctor checks it out, the fight's over. Yes. Well, in the middle of the that, round, yes. Yeah, and, in the middle of the round, yeah. And but not, but it was the, requested by Levi Casey that the right. fight was stopped or he, or he was waving him off. So it's He's like probably being just smart, being worried about his eye. Well, you know what I mean? but but is that? I mean, that could be oh, mistaken so, for a verbal elbows, tap. That see, could be mistaken for a verbal tap, though. I believe it was those elbows right there. You know, hey, whatever keeps them safe. Uh, I know it is amateur. It is for a belt, but. Whatever keeps the guys safe, whatever keeps them to live another day. Well, and you know, and, and, if, and if no, no, but if, if you if you're verbally tapping, you're verbally tapping. It's just I, I I'm just saying in that situation, I could see how a ref could be confused. You know, when when you're asking for the fight to be stopped or like a timeout for anything other than an eye poke. Wow, what a great show of respect from both what these guys. What great sportsmanship on both from wow. both guys. Good guys, right there. Definitely a weird stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Rob Lewis calls a stop to the fight. Three minutes, 26 seconds into the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO referee stoppage, Cameron Heavy Hitter Ross. Better safe than sorry, and that's a nasty cut. That's a nasty cut.